Hi everyone, I'm really excited today to share uh, this sneak peek or teaser video which I promised through one of the blogs that I recently wrote on LinkedIn. As you can see on my screen, I mentioned about an inventory control model uh, and today this video is going to talk about how swiftly you can actually reduce your planning cycle and plan your inventory and control the flow of material and even push uh, the planned inventory purchase orders right uh, directly either to the internal transfers from your distribution centers to your uh, consumption centers or you know place the orders directly on uh, suppliers so let me quickly jump over and bring your attention to the application as you must have observed this is ana plan which is used for connected and cohesive planning and uh, on the page, you see a workflow which connects the inventory control tower with its sub branches or disciplines of uh, supply chain or value chain processes. So as uh, a business user, I would probably want to see the outlook of uh, my revenue versus supply potential. That's where the visibility comes in and brings me uh, the transparency about what's demanded and what's ready to supply and how much to plan. I also have some central assumptions, uh, administrative work, which helps me to look at the classification of uh, SQs and also simulate the number of days of inventory that I want to bring as a forward plan, right? It's more like an integration towards the forward side of the value chain. And uh, the very interesting part here is this indent scheduler. It's actually a workflow action that triggers uh, the calculation in the backend and brings the visibility for several time scales. Uh, now planning horizon could be planned for two months, three months, six months or an entire year. So even annual planning as I mentioned could be achieved and a glimpse of how much of inventory would be required and what is the supply potential of the organization throughout that particular planning cycle is all doable in just a couple of clicks, right? Of course, data administration is something which primarily uh, done in the beginning of uh, the entire planning cycle, uh, which helps the users to bring the data from the system, for example, inventory uh, on hand, or if you have forecast, uh, let's say you are planning your forecast uh, through statistical methods within Anaplan, all of that uh, you know information can be actually linked to your model and you can run these simulations and plan your activities uh, on the fly. So let's get started. As an inventory planner, let me look at uh, my uh, revenue outlook. So I would see uh, my revenue is actually broken down by different products and uh, by different uh, regions. And this is my time dimension, which is basically by month rolled up to a uh, years, right? And you will be able to see that outlook is totally customizable. You can have your revenue cost margin and any other matrix that you want to bring in uh, to evaluate and analyze uh, before you begin the planning. Revenue risk, or I would say potential supply outlook is something that uh, you know users would want to see. Now, this is not just region, but you can observe that it is actually a distribution center outlook. That means I may be, uh, I may be serving customers from different uh, geo locations, but uh, I will have dedicated distribution centers serving those customers at a cluster, right? Now, if you observe that we have some shortfalls, we have some supply potential, which is good, but we also have some excess stock. This is basically uh, the working capital, which is blocked. And this is basically the opportunity that we are going to lose, right? Now, moving from this point, let me look at the demand versus supply outlook. I'm taking you all on the management reporting deck, which is an inbuilt uh, feature that's there in Anaplan. It actually eliminates the need to have a PowerPoint presentation. Right now, if you observe that uh, my demand throughout the entire year is actually placed in the area graph. However, my supply potential is poor, and at the same time, my available inventory is getting uh, drastically consumed. That's because it's uh, actually computing the available inventory and the potential sales or demand that is expected from the customers. Now, let me go back to the revenue risk exposure. This value will exactly match uh, with the supply commitment that we have and uh, the excess or shortfall that we have. Now I'll just press escape and click on the breadcrumb menu. Uh, the amazing action that we have created is on the indent execution levers. 
So as we spoke about the flag type of indent, wherein the time scales of indent uh, based on the planning cycle time is uh, being created here. So a user just had to select one of the flags. So M2 is representing two months of uh, planning. 3 is for 3, 6 is for 6 months or half year and of course in an annual indent flag. On the other side, you would see a second dimension which is actually triggering the level of inventory. Now, let me bring your attention to how we can bring the central assumptions on inventory levels. So, there's a classification on two dimensions which is ABC FMR. This concept is actually intersecting, uh, I would say, uh, the kind of product contribution towards the revenue. And there's a ranking which happens and based on the ranking, we are able to also further get the minimum reorder base and maximum level of inventory in terms of days. So in a nutshell, what it is trying to do is it is trying to tell us that after I serve my, uh, you know, my inventory for a particular flag that I select, I do need to have a forward cover of uh, these many days, right? So this is totally editable and uh, in fact it can also be spread across using the methods like uh, copy down and copy across. So I would not get into the nitty gritty of the functionalities because most of us know how flexible Anaplan is. So let me quickly get started. Now let me choose M3 because I'm planning three months of uh, indent and I would want to get uh, the stocks at reorder level to keep it you know minimum. Uh, you know loading my working capital so there should not be too much of stress on my working capital now the moment I just put these two clicks if I look at my visibility or let me bring uh, your attention to the demand and supply uh, deck not just the visibility now let me go back and tell you that for the next three months I'm covering my stocks the stock level is going to be this and the moment I enter the fourth one the stock level starts reducing now an interesting piece here is the visibility of inventory health. Now, if you see that there is a, a brag or a BRYG kind of concept used here, let me hide the dimensions. Uh, black stands for total stockouts, red for minimum, yellow for you know optimum or base level, and green for maximum level. Since we triggered the flag and decided to optimize the inventory to bring in the indent, uh, you know, horizon, uh, we could see that most of our stocks for the next three months are going to sit between the red and the yellow. And that's where uh, we can now bring a quick visibility and look at how our demand and supply or let me go to my visibility again, excess and shortfall. Yeah. So now we are looking at the excess and shortfall. Just with a couple of clicks, we found that there's no shortfall because we are actually planning the inventory now. But the moment we start consuming the three months of inventory, you will see the shortfall is actually rising. This is actually touching the demand levels, right? Now, this entire plan can actually be executed for, I would say, an uh, the the total or the entire annual uh, planning cycle. All we need to do is just quickly replace uh, the checks that we brought on the indent plan type. Let's say optimization plan and annual indent flag. Now navigation is actually going to take us to uh, the necessary processes or visibilities that we want to look at. Uh, but before I click on any one of these, uh, let me also tell you, the moment we selected uh, the plan type and the horizon, we have a validation which is actually telling us what is the outlook period of the plan, what is the trigger period of the plan, and what is the horizon of the plan, right? So this is totally dynamic. It depends on the user selection. Now let me bring your attention to the shortfalls in excess. So definitely there is no shortfall. Uh, excess stock is definitely going to be there. The reason is because we are pushing the inventory with a forward cover of uh, X number of days based on our inventory policies that we saw uh, on our uh, indent, uh, you know, indent scheduler. Yeah, so these are the forward cover days. If a user has to or wants to reduce uh, this, 
that impact will directly flow instantly uh, in all the calculations that we have brought in right now you see the revenue risk exposure is also down there's no revenue risk exposure that's why the pie does not give us any uh, values we do have supply potential that covers the entire uh, you know year right so that brings us to the end of today's sneak peek teaser video and uh, i'm sure that there are many organizations throughout the globe who would want to reduce the inventory cycle time inventory planning cycle time i would say and uh, reduce the route to market and also have visibility on how much of working capital is blocked uh, in inventory uh, this application or the model that we have built on anaplan uh, actually helps the users to uh, do very finite level planning uh, as you observe that we were able to you know change the number of days of forward cover of inventory and uh, the impact was easily visible on the working capital that we are holding so customers waiting for us for the right kind of product at the right time uh, such kind of models are required uh, we are just a ping away i would say there's a there's an email which is mentioned there in the blog. Just put your put your requirements across, and in case if you wish to collaborate with us to bring such kind of implementation, such kind of uh, models in your ecosystem, we would be more than happy to collaborate. Thank you very much. Stay tuned and keep watching this space for more because we are going to release many such videos uh, eventually. Thank you again.